The birth rate for twins is going up, and in related news, my desire to have children has plummeted. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and if you've been on the internet at all the past couple days, then you've probably seen this adorable and also kind of gross photo of twins born in Ohio who emerged from the womb holding hands. Oh my God, it's so cute. Now this is especially noteworthy because the twins are monoamniotic, meaning they share the same amniotic sac and placenta. It's a rare occurrence happening in around one in 10,000 births, and it's extremely risky because the twins have a very high chance of becoming entangled in the umbilical cords during pregnancy. Thankfully, these two were born healthy and happy, but it got me thinking, what are the odds of having twins? Turns out it's a lot higher now than it was even a few decades ago. In 2010, twins accounted for around one in 30 births, and while that might seem extremely high, keep in mind that fraternal twins, those who don't share identical features, make up well over two thirds of that. Even so, these numbers are continuing to rise. The birth rate for twins has risen by 76% over the past 30 years, and there are several reasons why that might be. Now, most of it is due to a rise in fertility treatments, which greatly increases the odds of having multiple births by around 20 to 40 percent. Another factor is the fact that women are now waiting longer to have kids. As we get older, our bodies go through hormonal changes that cause us to release multiple eggs at once. So even though women over age 35 are less likely to get pregnant overall, they're also more likely to have multiple births in the event that they do get pregnant. For women age 40, the odds of having twins goes up to around 7 percent, and at 45, that number goes to a whopping 17%. There are also genetic factors that make us more likely to have multiple births. For example, if someone in your family has given birth to twins, then you are also more likely to have them. And the same goes for your children. The more pregnancies you've had, the more likely you are to have twins in the future. And if you've already had a set of fraternal twins, then you are much, much more likely to have another pair sometime in the future. Being a certain race can also predispose you. For instance, African Americans are more likely to have twins than any other race, while Hispanic and Asian people are the least likely. Then there are things you would never even consider to have an effect, like body type. Studies have shown that twins are more common in women who are taller and heavier than in women who are small or underweight. Another study from 2003 shows that women who took folic acid supplements during their time of conception increased their odds of having twins by 40%. And multiple reports conclude that women who increase their dairy consumption before or during conception are up to five times more likely to have twins, perhaps due to the synthetic growth hormones that are now being injected in cows. Believe it or not, there is an entire subset of women devoted to twinning, which is the practice of changing your diet or daily habits in order to increase your odds of having multiple births. And aside from all the medical complications that twins can bring personally, the idea of having two separate people growing inside of me for nine months is kind of terrifying. But. I'm also not a mother, so the thought of having one child growing inside of me is kind of terrifying. Can you tell I'm easily scared? Anyway, I'm sure some of you out there watching this have given birth to twins, and if you have, we would love to hear about your experience. Just leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.